Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. We all agree that uh, entities uh, with no authority, legal authority, uh, should get involved in certain actions, uh, punitive actions. And I'm talking um, of a bank, for instance. If I have my money in a bank and uh, I get in a scuffle with my neighbor, uh, that bank has no authority to uh, freeze my assets, on my, in this case, my liquidity, my money. So, do, do we agree with that? On the other hand, if I own, uh, I don't know, three houses in other states or in the same state here, and uh, uh, again, I get in a scuffle with my neighbor, we have a little, you know, back and forth, um, the, I don't know, the authorities over there in the other county or wherever I have the assets, uh, should not have the authority and does not have the, they don't have the authority of freezing my assets and uh, confiscate my uh, assets obviously right just put yourself in this situation you know you have a problem with a neighbor you fight with a neighbor and then your uh, local bank or not even your local bank the bank from I don't know, New York uh, freezes your liquidities I mean under what kind of authority remember nothing is proven well, could, uh, the, the guilt is could be, you know, I uh, did something, the other side did something, but on the other hand, you are not the um, entity, the business that really uh, has anything to do, should not have anything to do with that. That's uh, the police who should intervene, and then it's a process. Uh, they come, figure out, after the scuffle ends, or is ended by the police, in this case, who can be the police? Nobody, right? Uh, then is uh, conducted an investigation, uh, impartial investigation. Then you find out who did what who, on both sides, and then you estimate the the the, um, um, the damage, money, and then you figure out who's paying, how's paying. You go to jail or you don't do, go to jail. All this is done by by the authorities who are in charge of the process, not by the bank. Or not by the school is gonna kick your uh, child out of school because you punch in the teeth your neighbor because he uh, I don't know groped your wife or something like that. No, it's, school doesn't have anything to do, to do with this. So let's see what's going on here. They've been talking about seizing Russia's assets and they did for some time and uh, the threats that they're gonna use it for uh, rebuilding Ukraine and all that. But are you responsible for what's going on in Ukraine as well? Do you take any responsibility? No. So then, I'm sorry. I think you should. I think you are. You have your part. Uh, you have part of the guilt on your little bloody hands as well. So if you point uh, the finger only at the handgun that was used in the crime, then you miss the perpetrator, the person who pulled the trigger. And then you say, "Wait, wh wh why did you pull the trigger?" Well, because he was attacking me with a bazooka. Ah, okay then. You know what I mean? Maybe in this circumstance, you're not gonna blame the gun that I use to defend myself from someone else attacking me. Mm -hmm or being around my neighborhood setting up, uh, I don't know, bombs, grenades, and I say, hey, what are you doing? And he started shooting at me or, you know? So that's, that's a, lot of, a, lot of, um, a lot of guilt stays in the context as well. Because the context dictates uh, and, you know, what the hell happened. It's not, oh, uh, the gun killed that, or the bullet killed uh, the guy. Oh, the bullet is guilty. <laughs> no, 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 no. You go and go go down the line, and then you go and uh, see the whole picture. That's how you do it if you're a civilized human being, and you think you're just. If not, okay, just blame the bullet and the pistol and the finger and the, uh, I don't know, blood that uh, spill, uh, uh, you know, flows through uh, the perpetrator's uh, veins. So, this article comes from a business insider. And it's from uh, today, November 30th, 2022. The EU, European Union, is looking at seizing $330 billion in frozen Russian assets and investing them with any profits going to Ukraine. So, do you think that people who invest that, what, what does that mean? Do you think they do it for free? They're investment firms. Investment, fir investment firms work from the commission of handling the investments, the, the whatever you invest. So if I go to an investment firm and say, okay, I have uh, $330 billion, let's say, and I want to invest them, you say, oh, that's fantastic, man. But we're going to take 3%. That's fine. What does that mean? Every profit that you have over there or the amount of whatever they handle, 
that's going to be taxed by this guy, taxed. That's going to be their commission. So they make money out of handling your money. So who are those investment firms? Do you think it would be Russians or Chinese or Iranians or African banks or investor investing firms? No, there will be some big fat fucking cats over there in the West or United States of America, obviously. Or I think, oh uh, yeah, I mean, West United States, let's put it this way. It's the same thing, right? To a certain extent. The European Union proposed on Wednesday a move to seize and reinvest Russian assets. First, the European Union did not have the authority of seizing anybody's, uh, anybody's um, wealth or assets, unless that person was proven uh, you know, by a court of law and so on. That, uh, you know, that was a conclusion. Okay, we found this guy or this entity guilty of this. All right, now, what is the plan? What should be the reparation? And then it's a legal process that goes with that. Right? They were determined this guy's going to go to prison, okay, for how many years? Let's say for 20 years with a chance of parole or no chance of parole. No, maybe we don't send him to prison. We're going to, I don't know, uh, um, you know, um, we're just going to, you know, send him to uh, and say, okay, we're just going to be uh, uh, getting your assets. That will be part of it. Re remember that that should be a, um, a process that is followed. But the the process could could take the different 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 uh, aspects. So okay, you're guilty. Are we gonna send him or not? We wanna put him on probation, and we're gonna not send him into jail. That's a possibility. Okay, we're gonna sentence him. We're gonna send him to jail. We're gonna send him over there. He's gonna have possibility of parole or no? Yes. Okay. Now it's gonna be any material damages. Can he pay? Can we? That uh, and then you put all that on the paper, and that is what's gonna happen. In this case, Russia did not go through that process as far as I know. And then you have an entity, European Union, deciding that, oh my God, we're going to seize your assets and we do, we're going to invest them. And the uh, people who invested, don't do it for free. Don't do it for free. That's the, the whole point. If they would do it for free, I would be okay, do it for free. And uh, those assets that you just... Uh, using right now and you invest those or whatever you do with them, some other companies that those investing firms will pick, all right, or whatever, however they do it, those are, again, do you think that's not going to be political? Really? Like they don't know who's going to, it's about $330 billion, it's not like $10,000 or something, it's $330 billion, imagine that that would be invested or whatever they have, the, uh, how do, however they will invest and whatever, how they were going to use those assets sell them, get the liquidity, whatever they do, they will have to, to work with someone else. Who's that someone else? Who's going to be that? Let's say you have a yacht, a Russian yacht, okay? And then you say, okay, I'm going to manage that and I'm going to get the profit. I'm going to I'm gonna get the money from the yacht. I'm going to take it and give it to uh, your company and you're going to, uh, I don't know, use it as a service of uh, uh, tourism, let's say in a IGNC. Okay, we're going to go to... Uh, to uh, Greece and this yacht is going to be used by your company and the revenue you're going to get the revenue or the revenue is going to be returning back to these guys to re reinvest it in Ukraine or something but who's going to manage that yacht you but you're going to have a lot of maintenance fees you're going to return the the, re the revenue the profit that you're going to get for your company and you're not going to work just to okay I'm just going to keep it for free no you're going to get money profit out of that now how were you chosen it's going to be a bidding a bidding, uh, um, um, no, organize and say, okay, we're going to have all these guys and see who's going to get it for a better price. I don't think so. I think it's going to be awarded. I give you the yacht and you're going to go to that process. You're going to make a profit. We're going to make a profit by, uh, you know, charging for the handling the whole thing. And whatever remains out of that as a profit goes to Ukraine. But it goes to Ukraine, goes to Zelensky and other people. And before and after that, do you think it's going to be any more money really going to reconstruction or goes to other companies? Who are, what are those, those companies? They're going to be investing and going to, I don't know, reconstruct Ukraine. Who are those? Again, b bidding? I don't think so. Remember in the Iraq war, when you have Cheney and all those guys and they were CEOs of, uh, what was that company that Cheney was, uh, used to be a uh, uh, CEO? I can't remember now. Oh, Jesus Christ. And uh, um, I can't remember the company, but he was... You know, the CEO and his, that company was reconstructing Iraq in the oil fields and all that. Really, there's no connection between uh, Cheney and th that company. Company, I can't remember the name of the company. 
Oh man. And anyway, that's the way it works. How do you think? Do you think the companies are just okay? We're gonna bid for this thing. Certain 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 um, uh, jobs are you bid. I say, hey, I bid this, you bid this, yeah? and certainly not just award. Some of them are just awarded. This is you, and this is you gonna work on this one. This is the money. This is what you're gonna work with. This is the project. And that I know those things are set for on friendship, based on friendship, money, and bribes, and all that. Okay, so some of them, some of them. I would say all of them. When we talk about 330 billion dollars, I'm pretty sure nothing is left to chance. So, the trading bloc plans to give any profits from such investments to Ukraine. It is already blocked. It has already blocked around 330 billion in Russian money. Ursula, President Ursula von Leyen said. So, in Russian money, the European Union is looking at seizing at the, and reinvesting frozen Russian assets and then using the profits made only to trades to any trades on any trades to help to rebuild war-torn Ukraine. I told you this is not. This is not. Um, uh, There's gonna be handled with uh, a lot of people. A lot of people will make profit. That's what I'm trying to say. And there, it's a frenzy of 330 billion dollars. Can you can you imagine? It says that European Commission President said Wednesday that the trading block has already blocked about 319 billion euros, 330 billion dollars that could be reinvested. And he says, in the short term, we could create with our partners a structure to manage the, this fund yeah, and invest them. We, uh, we would then use the proceeds for Ukraine. Russia's ongoing war has caused around 600 billion euros uh, worth of damage to Ukraine since February, according to the European Commission. What does that mean? You're going to pay the Russians. You're going to pay the rest. And they can come with how much they want. Do you think it will be like, oh, that's an apartment building here. Let's say it's worth uh, 100 million dollars. I'm just giving, and they're gonna say, "Why well, it's just uh, 100 million dollars?" No, they're gonna say 500 million dollars, and they're gonna say, "Okay, this is a street, an infrastructure. How much is to build it? How much is that? Uh, let's say 50 million dollars." I'm just saying, okay, and they're gonna say, "Oh, it's 50 million dollars. Let's put it down there." No, they're gonna say it's 1 billion dollars. Who's gonna? Oh my God, no, it's overbidding. They don't care because they wanna fuck up them, and it's about revenge. Not only do you think they're gonna be fair, even if that they get to that. To that point, nah. And then again, look here. There is a huge pot of gold to be taken, gold and dedicated for Ukraine's reconstructions, which are the assets of the Russian Federation and Russian oligarchs. Poland Prime Minister who said last month. So Poland wants uh, Russian gold. Good job, Poland. Why not? If you can, right? But at least tell us that you're a jackal, which we know you are. Uh, who is not? I mean, if you can, why not? We have the means to make Russia pay, this said a statement. We have blocked 300 billion euros of the Russian Central Bank, of the cent Russian Central Bank reserves, and we have frozen 19 billion euros of Russian oligarchs' money. 19 billions versus 300 billion? <laughs> you can keep that 19, give me the 330. And then see me no more. <laughs> anyway, this is the way things go. And I think it's, uh, I think it's, what, under what authority? Who are you? Who appointed you as being the handler of re re rebuilding Ukraine with someone else's money? <laughs> the neighbor comes and gets your money and rebuilds someone else's uh, house with your money because you got in a scuffle with another neighbor. What? What? I mean, I know that you can st stretch this and you say, well, it's logical, uh, but there's no authority. We work with authority. We work with, you know, otherwise I can go and knock at the, I don't know, government's uh, mention and arrest the governor and then judge it with my family together and then, uh, I don't know, uh, convict uh, the government, governor of the state. Can I do that? No, I don't have the authority at all. Even if I think or if I even if I prove with my whole family that the governor is a criminal. I kill. I still can't do that. I don't have the authority. There's certain, um, um, how should I put it, businesses, certain uh, you know entities that are given the authority. Unless we just uh, you know we do um, this kind of things. But then if you do these kind of things, then everybody can do it. Why not? Because everything is based on power. 
at, I mean, everything comes down to who has the power. And then everything, laws and freedoms and all this just psh, evaporate. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.